Good day YouTube, how are we all doing today? I am the Trish Etkin and welcome to episode 26 of my DNS Tech Pack. Let's play. Now last episode we finished off with making a rock crusher and crushing our raw firestone, which we got from the nether. So next we had to move on to getting the refined firestone. To get a refined firestone, we needed a cut firestone, which was four diamond pickaxes in the crafting bench. So I've made four pickaxes in preparation for this. <laughs> Look at me being all prepared and stuff. <laughs> Excellent. So I'm going to grab a firestone quickly and put it in here. And I'm going to get a cut firestone. I'm going to put it straight back in there because from the cut firestone, we need the refined firestone. So let's grab it. And hope that I put this in the right order, which I probably haven't. Oh, what a surprise. What a surprise. There we go. We have a refined firestone. Ta-da! But right now, it's pretty useless. It's not doing anything right now. I can't do anything with it, apart from one thing. Go back to the nether. That's right, back to the nether. We are in the lovely nether once it loads up. So I need to find a big body of lava, which I'm not going to be using. So I'm going to go over here somewhere once it all loads up in front of me. Maybe. Will you? Ah, here looks like a good place. Yes, this will do nicely. Uh, I think I'll mine a wee bit out here. Excellent. Needed a place to stand. And actually, I'm just going to throw this away now. Screw it. Oh no, I'll throw it in the lava. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry though. This is how we charge it up. See, firestone's right there. Don't worry. Oh, whoops, there. It's there. Right there. And what happens is this is just sucking up the lava. Nicely. See all that? It's sucking all the lava up from the bottom to the top and replacing it with, well, obsidian by the seams of it. And it's going to keep on charging till it can charge no more, which will take, yeah, it'll, it'll take a, a quite a while. It's not a fast process, to be honest. So we're going to have to let this charge. I'm going to have to stand here and wait for it to charge, is what I mean. And whoa, well, that's weird. That's very weird. Look at that. That looks funny. Anyway. I haven't scanned this. Might as well scan it since I'm here. 64. Nice. So, I'm going to let this charge up. And we'll be right back. And I'm back. So as you can see, it stopped drawing all those cool effects into it. And it's just sitting there. All I need to do, give it a wee hit, and I've got it. A refined firestone. Charges 5,000 out of 5,000. Now the only thing left to do is to kill this giant heat scar spider. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, that's a lot of spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Oh my god, that's a lot of spiders. Whew, that was a lot of spiders. Now that's all that's left to do, now, after all that, uh, is left to do is to fly back home and do something with this. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. A phantom. <laughs> Where are you? Ah. Whew. Those things are crazy. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, we were trying to fly back. I am lost. Was it this way? Could be this way. I should really set a waypoint back home. Oh, there it is. Yay. So yeah, I'll see you back home. And I'm back. So... I am going to go down to the deeps, the depths, the hollows. My steam boiler that we have made last episode. So what I want to do is I can now throw this firestone into this slot here and it's going to start producing steam. But before I do that, I want to set up the process which I'm going to use to carry it on. 
Now, you could just go ahead and if you right click on here, it tells you how much heat it produces. You could just use the logs itself, the wood, the whatever, but I am going to, I'm going to melt the, I'm going to melt. I am going to cook the wood and I'm going to be using the force logs and I'm going to use dark craft wood, the force logs, and it's going to give me this golden power source, which gives me 2k heat, which I do believe is more than coal or charcoal. I think charcoal and coal are the same, so. Uh, which is 1.6k, that's 2k, why not just use that when I've got the wood? So, what I've got in my hand, you may notice, is called a steam oven. It's just some steel plates and a furnace in the middle. And you get four of that for each recipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them not there at all. Because that was stupid. So I'm going to place it... Like that. And you see it's got the nice wee recipe on it. But this doesn't do anything until it gets some steam. And I've got a wee export bus. And I'm going to pop it right here. And I'm going to tell it to export logs. Force logs, to be more specific. And it's going to keep them nicely stocked. Uh, I'm also going to change my uh, farm up here. So that um, so that this and this are now going to be four saplings. Right. Yeah. So I'm getting more four saplings than I am rubber saplings. Uh, force wood than rubber wood. Because I'm going to be using it more often. And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to tell it instead of. Instead of the rubber wood, make it the force wood. So it'll keep on going until it gets the 5,000 of the force logs this time. Instead of just 5,000 of the rubber wood. So, good, 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 good. So I could set this up to stack mode, maybe. Should I? Yeah, let's move it to stack mode so it just pops the full stacks in there. And as you see, I've got it next to here, and that will have the steam coming off into there. But I need to put it from there into here. So what I want to do now is grab um, some obsidian. Ooh, I've only got two of it. Okay, that's not the end of the world. We can deal with that. And I'm going to... I'm going to pulverise it. I'm going to throw it into the macerator. Yep. And I'm going to grab some lead. Let's see how much... Uh, no, none at all. If you can't guess what I'm making yet, you should be able to, because I've made it before. Two gives you crushed obsidian in two pieces, doesn't it? Drat. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to go make some obsidian, and I'll be right back. Actually, why should I make some when I just, you know, I can just go mine out from over here, since I just made, uh, like, a bazillion pieces of obsidian over here. So I'm going to go mine obsidian, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I'm back home and I've smelted up some of that obsidian and now I've got some item ducts. Some normal item ducts. And what I want to do now is get these item ducts to be going faster. And to do that, I'm going to infuse it with some glowstone. I believe that is enough. And it's going to infuse it.
I remember it was too much. Say la vie. Now I've got six pieces of 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 impulse item ducks. That's right. So I want to also make myself one of those pneumatic servos. Let's get it so that it is automatically crafted. Have I not already got? I've already got a servo anyway. Ah, they are automatically crafted. So I thought. And all I'm going to do is put that like that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put it like that, like that at all. That. And it has to go down to here. And I'm going to install my servo up here. Like that. And I'm going to tell it that it's only allowed uh, the golden, it's not what I'm going to do, never mind, whitelist that, ignored, and then pipe it out. So then that'll get piped in once it's actually got going. So next we need to get this actually going, as I said. So let's throw in our refined fire stuff. And it's going to reasonably quickly heat it up. You can see how fast that's going. That is going really fast. If I put in just a normal heat source, yeah, see that? It's 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 barely heating up at all. So let's get this back in, get this thing heated up. Yeah, look at it go. So it's going to have to, we're going to have to wait for it to start producing steam. While I'd wait for that, we have to get some power source to start <laughs> generating power, don't we? So why don't we do that next? We want to have the liquid transfer node again, and some of the transfer pipe, which I've got a million of. Then we also want some way to produce energy from steam. And I've decided to make it with steam turbines. So I'm gonna grab a puckle of them. It's going to make me up them. Um, let's get X utilities up for a second. Okay, I get sixty-four of them. Nice. Okay, I'm going to make some of them as well. Uh, I've got any slabs? Do excellent. Excellent. Transfer energy. Put you away. Oh, I'll also need some energy nodes, which I believe here, which needs four transfer nodes. Okay, I believe we can do that. How many of those things did I just make? Those steam doodads? I just make four, did I? I thought I made five. I did, I did make five. So I want five of those energy transfer nodes as well. Energy node and no, that wasn't energy node, that was the steam and the five energy nodes. There we go. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Before this thing turns to steam. Oh, oh, I think it's actually reached its steam point. And this thing's filling up with steam. Huzzah! Let's see what happens. This thing takes steam, it starts cooking up the wood in this nine grid. And it'll make nine pieces of that. See that? It's got nine pieces of the golden power source in it now. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to let this firestone charge us up to full heat because when it's at full heat, it doesn't use as much of that, basically. Excellent. So now I want to have my five steam turbines. Uh, it can be here. Five. All with energy nodes on them and I want a liquid node here 
I really hope this works. I haven't tried it with this many before. Like so. As I say, I've never tried it with this many before. And I might need to put a speed upgrade on there. I don't know yet though. Don't know yet. So now I've got these, I need to get a somewhere to put the power. So I could make another redstone energy cell, but I think I want to go ahead and make a resonant energy cell. That's not the elevator. Yeah, I think I want to make a resident energy cell next, because it's about time. So that's full of energy. It's making energy, it's making energy. Good. Oh, see, that's now starting to fill up with energy. It's saturating these transfer nodes first before it does anything. So let's go back up. Let's make a resident energy cell. Uh, if we remember how to. It's, uh, it's a pretty difficult process. That. Res on and there it is. It requires quite a few bits and bobs. So, indidium ingots are made with pyrothium dust and indidium blend, which is tin dust and I think it's a shiny metal as well. I think it's shiny metal, not platinum. Platinum. Shiny metal, yay! And a resonant ender bucket. So, have we got any shiny? We do not. Do we have any platinum? We do not. We don't have shiny or platinum. That's a problem. That is a problem. Don't worry. I'll figure out a way. I always do. And I always will. Okay, first of all, let's make my resonant energy frame. Let's get filled up with redstone. How much redstone did it take again? I should know this off by heart by now. 400 millibuckets. And it is 4,000 millibuckets, sorry. So it's 40 pieces of redstone. Let's go back upstairs and let's get that filled up. Did I need to fill it up actually? Yeah, I did. need to fill it up. So let's, ah man, I've got some stuff in there. Let's quickly make a portable tank. Come on. Come on, any eye. There we go. Yes, the cheap one. Yep, that's all filling up its gaseous glowstone into here. The other way, let's get the redstone in there. And resonant energy. So. Right, so while it's doing that, um, we are going to have to get the rest of the things for our resonant energy cell. Resonant. You have to do this reasonably quickly, so sorry if I'm going through it quite quickly. Uh, I want to get the pyrothium dust, which I'm going to put in here so I'm getting tons of sulfur from IMB okay get the blaze rods tell how to make them as well. I'll do that afterwards. 
take one anyway. Um, okay, that's good. Let's encode that. That should now know how to make that stuff. Uh, then we want stop that. Then we want it to say how to make dium. Dium blend. So we need a bucket of resin and ender. So that's four ender pearls as a bucket, I suppose. In the magma crucible. Can also extract it from ender lilies. That's quite interesting. But no, ender pearls. So let's make some four ender pearls. Uh, we might need more than that. Let's just make ten. Uh, so we need to squeeze that into. So that means I'm going to need another one of. And I'm not going to. I'm going to need to wait for that upstairs first, aren't I? Let's see. Has it made it yet? Oh, it has made it. So hopefully that'll be everything. It is. Let's grab a bucket. Uh, what next do I need for this? Oh yes, the platinum. Platinum, platinum, platinum. Yeah, not helping much. Oh, I've got shiny ingots. You pest. Make me think I didn't have any shiny ingots. Let's get all those pulverized up. Let's see, have I got my bucket yet? I've got a bucket of resonant ender, yay! I'm going to eventually get this so it's automated, so I don't need to do all this. So I can get as many of these resonant energy buckets as I want. Now then, let's get ourselves some Endidium. Oh, I don't have any pulverized tin, do I? Let's let that tin pulverize up. Oh, I only did three actually, didn't I? There we go. Enderium blend. Perfect. So next we needed the pyrothium dust, didn't we? Pyrothium. Pyrothium. Let's make four of that stuff. Boom, that was fast. Uh, now I need it in my induction smelter. Give me some Enderium blend, my friend. So did I need... Oh, I did need to do that, didn't I? Uh, it on me? I do. It needs to be an activated one. So let's. Quickly get ourselves an activated one. Like so. And have I got enough yet? I do! Resonant energy cell. Let's get back downstairs. If we will. And that's charging up. Look how fast it's going! Oh my god! Holy cow! That's charging fast. So this can actually hold 50 million RF per tick? That's a lot. That, yeah, yeah, wow, that's a lot. Okay. So that's charging up. <laughs> uh, and our, oh, a refined firestone. It's fully, fully heated now. And yeah, we don't need our firestone anymore. Hopefully. Yeah, I do believe that's keeping self-sustained. Yeah. So hopefully our uh, farm up here will be able to keep up with all of this demand. Uh, we've got quite a lot of them now. These bad boys. Uh, I also made some oak wood because, you know, I just wanted some oak, some actual wood I could use. Uh, sometimes that's annoying. 
finally got some oak wood. So that's good. We've got power coming in. We've got power doing stuff. We've got power. We've got power. Look at it going. Oh my god, that's going. That's. I feel like that's charging up really quickly. Uh, and with these guys, is this is this going fast enough? I don't know if this is going fast enough. Let's get some upgrades in this thing. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get some upgrades. No we won't. This is the end of the episode. Sorry guys. Didn't realise the time. We're starting to overrun. So guys, next episode we'll we'll do we'll upgrade that steam boiler. We'll get some more processing going. It'll be all good, all fun. Uh, so yeah, as you see, it's going mad. Look how fast the stuff's coming out of there. It's actually back stuffed. You can see how that sort of red box is back stuffed. And it should come up in whale, yeah. There you go. Whale. It's all nice and nice. So guys, yeah, next episode we'll make sure this is keeping up with itself and being good and nice and everything. And all good. So guys, this is the Trash Etiquette signing off episode 26. Have fun.